In this video, I'm going to show you how to upgrade your hard drive in your HP 17-inch laptop computer. The first step is to check and make sure you're watching the right video uh, and make sure that your laptop matches the laptop that I have. Um, so you're going to have a long, uh, wide front foot. You're going to have two feet in the back of your laptop on either side of the battery. The battery is in the, in the middle on the back. You're going to have a DVD drive here on this side, and you're going to have various holes and screws that, that uh, fasten the back of the case to the laptop frame. So you're going to have one screw here, one here, one under each foot. Under this adhesive label, you're going to have two screws right here. One, two, one, two, three there, and then one, two, three there. My particular model is an HP 17-Y015CY. Although you're going to be able to perform this replacement and hard drive upgrade on other models as well. My cat decided he needed a snack. Storm is hungry. He's my computer hardware repair assistant. He's after the snack will resume. Okay, so he's done making noise in his bowl, so now we can resume filming here. You see his food bowls are right next to the table where I have all these items laid out. So, you're going to need several items to perform this upgrade and swap out your hard drive. You're going to need a screwdriver with a Phillips uh, bit. This is a PH0, so size 0. If you don't have a bit set, for a precision screwdriver like this, you can buy a set of jeweler's screwdrivers. And you can see there's a size number one right there. You can get these almost anywhere. Hardware store, Walmart, etc. You're going to need some double-sided adhesive tape because when you pry the feet off, uh, you're going to have to have a way to, to reapply the feet if you want the feet on the back of the computer. You're going to need your new hard drive to which you're uh, <clears throat> in which you're uh, putting in your computer. You'll need a uh, an external drive enclosure. I have a Sabrent here. The model is an EC-UASP. Uh, the reason you need an external drive enclosure is because. Um, You'll either want to ghost the image of your existing hard drive to an external drive and then be able to restore it from that. Um, or you're going to want to clone your existing hard drive. So you're, either way, you're going to need an external drive enclosure. Also, you're going to need a case opening tool. These are plastic pry tools. Um, <laughs> you get them on eBay. Just search for... Uh, laptop case opening tool and you'll find them. They're about five or six bucks. Um, you can buy them from uh, <clears throat> sellers in the US or you can go to China if you have to. Um, they come in <laughs> a lifetime supply of 30 units so I got 30 of them here that should last definitely a lifetime. And so now let's get started. Okay so the first step uh, it, to prevent the laptop from powering on while you're working on it and also to get the case off you're gonna have to remove the battery there are two tabs that slide inward and then the battery slips out like that the next step is to remove all of the screws and before you do that actually you need to remove these two rubber feet on the back There's one. There's a second one. And that will expose one screw or two screws, one on each side. Note that there are going to be two screws underneath this adhesive label here. I've already exposed them, and you can see the the hole there. So I've already um, gone felt it. You can feel the indentation with your finger. Just run your finger along the label and you'll feel the hole just go ahead and punch through the label and then remove the screw 
and that will um, allow you to it's the label is perforated in a circle so you can just pull that piece of label off so now we're going to go around and undo all the screws Go ahead and set these aside in a place where you won't lose them. So that was the first three screws. Now for these three here in the middle. This one here will unfasten the DVD drive and you should be able to pull the DVD drive out. That's not good. Okay, so let's count all the screws and make sure we got them all out, all the holes. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen. You should have fourteen screws. Unfortunately, I've done something to the DVD drive. Uh, I may have broken it trying to get it out, so we're just going to have to leave it in while taking the back of the case off. So now you can flip your laptop over. Open it up and then with the case prying tool you're going to insert between the top of the laptop case and the bottom of the case and pry and it should just pop right and pop right off like so and just go around case like this the tab should just pop really easily like so just keep going around Close it up again, flip it over, there, the case comes off, back of the case. Now I can pull the DVD drive out and see what I've done to it. Hopefully I didn't break it. Let's see. This. All right. All <laughs> well, the DVD drives back together. So I'll leave that to the side. Alright, so there's a ribbon overlaying the hard drive here. The hard drive is right here, and there's a ribbon overlaying it. So we're going to have to remove one side of the ribbon. So there's a tab that is hinged, this white part. You're going to flip that up. Like that. And then the ribbon comes out. Like so. It looks like it's got some adhesive. Like that. Yeah, so the ribbon's stuck to the hard drive. It's it, it's got some adhesive. It'll 
pry up really easily. should be able to pull it out from its plug there like so so hard drives out so the hard drives in this rubber case and you're gonna have to recycle that case um, looks like that just it's comes off pretty easily Just make sure to uh, remember the orientation so you get the, the rubber case back on properly. Yeah, so the upgrade, a little bit of a problem here because <clears throat> my new drive is a Micron 2 terabyte solid state drive and it's only a 7 millimeter thickness drive. And the Seagate is apparently a nine millimeter. So um, I'm going to try to put the rubber uh, case on the drive anyway, on my new drive, my Micron. Um, I'm going to go ahead and orient the drives the same. Okay, so now they're oriented the same way. And I'm just going to take the case off of this one, put it on the micron. Like so. And now I'm going to insert the new drive into the drive bay. Lift this ribbon here and then Go ahead and go ahead and plug it in. Maybe. There we go. It works. And now we insert this ribbon here. Flip that white tab up. Insert the ribbon. There it goes. Kind of tricky. Okay. I'm going to go ahead and put the DVD drive back in. And now for the back of the case. I'm going to start at the back. Making sure it's oh wow now I see why the okay take the DVD drive out okay Press everything together. Now, while I still have the screws out, I'm going to go ahead and boot it up. 
to make sure that the hard drive is seated properly and it's read by the hardware and the BIOS. Go ahead and slip the battery back in. So you should get a message like this, boot device not found, please install an operating system on your hard disk. That's a good sign that your disk is recognized but you don't have an operating system. So now go ahead and power it down. Just keep the power button depressed for about 5 seconds. Power's off, take out the battery again. And now we can put in all the screws, all 14. Ah, DVD drive. Put the DVD drive in. And all the screws go back in. Okay, so I have all 14 screws back in. Um, now I need to reattach the feet. So now I have my adhesive tape to reattach the two feet. Uh, a little bit too long. So, you have to redo this one. There's a protruding piece there, so you can't tape over that. Like so. And the battery goes back in. And that's it.